Dads, where we encourage husbands and fathers to lead, love, and live. Game on! A new week, new beginning, and I hope you are ready to rock and roll. Well, hey, check it out. Today, we're going to talk about setting the pace. What do I mean by setting the pace? If you're a runner or you're a biker or you're a um, uh, a marathon guy, you know, setting the pace, there's always that either group or there's that one person that sets the pace for the entire race, all right? In NASCAR, and I think a lot of your professional races out there, they just call them a pace car. So it sets the tone. If there's an accident, you'll follow the car down the track and it slows down depending if the obstruction is off the, uh, the uh, track or not. But the pace car sets the pace for the race. So check it out. How do you set your pace in your family? Are you a go-getter? Are you out there doing something? Are you taking action? Are you always in movement? Or are you the guy that's just sitting on the couch, doing nothing after work, just kind of chilling out? Did you know that you affect every little aspect of your family? Because here's the deal. You're the pace setter. Men, fathers, game-changing dads, you're the pace setter. You're going to set the pace when you come home for work on how that night's going to be. If you get into reading, you go out for a walk, or you go out for a bike ride, you are setting your family up for success. If we're going to sit around and be lazy, trust me, trust me, been there, done that. But if you're going to sit around and be lazy, our our kids and our family are normally going to follow suit. So be the pacemaker. Be the guy that's out there setting the pace in a positive way. Set the pace in a positive way for you, your family, and your spouse. All right. Check us out at Amazon. You can rate and review this podcast, or you can go to iTunes for the whole entire lengthy, awesome podcast podcast. Rate and review our show. I would greatly appreciate it. Have a great and awesome day.